Hello friends, in this session, we will clearly understand what exactly LSTM is all about, how LSTM works and this will serve as the fundamental session for you to build LSTM model through Keras. That's going to be done in session 19 where we will build Keras based LSTM model and you can understand it. But this session is very important and I request you to pay fullest attention so that there will not be any confusions at later stage. LSTM is expanded as a long short term memory. Please pay attention step by step and I have put in my fullest effort to make sure that the entire teaching process goes very simple so that you are not confused. Stay focused and it is easy for you. The terminologies that are used in the entire flow are the gates and cell state. There are three gates and two cell states that we will be talking about and the three gates are the forget gate the input gate and the output gate. Remember the forget gate, the input gate and the output gate. We have got intermediate cell state and cell state coming next. We will understand what these are all about, how do we mathematically derive all these and what is their role shortly. We will go with the forget gate first. The forget gate is represented as FT and it can be computed through the sigmoid of weights for forget gate into the old state plus the weights for the forget gate into the input. Now understand one point very clearly each of these gates and each of the cell states have got their corresponding weights. For example the forget gate has got its own weight, the input gate has got its own weight, the output gate has got its own weight. For the forget gate the weights are represented as WF for the input gate, the weights are represented as WI. Similarly, for the output gate, it is represented as W. Now, to compute the FT, it can be done through FT is equal to sigmoid of WF into ST, ST minus 1, which is nothing but the old state, plus WF into XT. XT is nothing but the input. Using this, we can compute FT, and FT is nothing but the forget gate. Now, what is forget gate and what does it do? Very simple. This is the first sigmoid activation function in the entire network. The entire network has got multiple sigmoid activation functions. There are 10 its activation functions, but this is the first sigmoid activation function of the entire network. As the name says, this is the gate which is going to decide which information has to be retained or to be dropped. The information from the previous hidden state and the current input state gets through the sigmoid function and you get the output. I repeat, the information from the previous hidden state and the current input state goes through the sigmoid and you get the output. The output can be between 0 or 1. Closer it is to 0, it has to be dropped, I mean it has to be forgotten. Closer it is to 1, it has to be remembered. This is the role of forget gate. We have computed FT with sigmoid activation function. We had weights allocated for it. We used the old state and the current state with the weights and we computed. This is all about forget gate. Now, we get into input gate. What is input gate? It's very simple. It is going to be the second sigmoid function in the entire network plus it is going to use the first tannis activation. It is a combo where we go with the second sigmoid function and first tannis function. What is the role of it? This is the gate which is going to decide which information should be saved in the cell state and which should be dropped. I repeat, this is the gate which is going to decide which information will go to the cell state and save and which should be dropped. That is the role of input gate. Now, how do we compute it? We need to first represent it and the representation is IT. IT is computed through the sigmoid of weights for the input gate multiplied by st minus 1 plus weights for the input gate multiplied by xt. Now every gate has got its own weight. I told you this already. So the weights for the input gate is represented as wi and sigmoid of wi multiplied by st minus 1. st minus 1 is the old state plus wi into xt. xt is the input will get you it. So we have computed the forget gate. We have computed the input gate. Now what is the thing left out in the gates? 
the output gate. What is the output gate and what does it do? Very simple, it highlights which information should be going to the next hidden state. Remember, it highlights which information should be going to the next hidden state. It is represented as OT and the formula and the equation remains the same. OT is equal to sigmoid of the weights for the output gate multiplied by old state plus the weights for the output gate multiplied by the input and you get OT. We have derived IT, OT and FT clearly which are respectively called as FT is called as forget gate, IT is called as input gate, OT is called as output gate. Now we have three more very important things which are to be connected properly and then we will go to the diagrammatic representation and step by step animation which is going to clarify all the doubts which you get through this mathematical understanding. Now intermediate cell state is represented as CT bar and it can be calculated through the tanx activation and the weights for the intermediate cell state is WC and it is multiplied by ST minus 1 plus weights for the intermediate cell state into XT, XT is nothing but the input and we compute it through tanh. Now cell state can be computed through IT, what is IT? Input gate, CT bar we have calculated here, IT into CT bar plus FT, what is FT? Forget gate, what is CT minus 1? We know it, the previous cell state. Now the new state can be computed through OT, what is OT? The output gate into tanh of CT, so this is all sequential. You see that CT bar is used here and CT is used here. Initially we used tanh and here we use tanh. In the previous sections we had been using for the gates we had been using sigmoid. So it is a combo. So please understand we had three gates and all the three gates are used finally in all these equations and it is going to help you clearly in understanding the process. Now it is almost 80 to 85 percent done. The only thing that is left out is to graphically visualize how things work. So remember FT is forget gate, OT is output gate, IT is input gate, CT cell state, CT bar intermediate cell state and W they are all used to represent, W is all completely used to represent the weights and W F is for forget gate, W O is for uh, the output gate similarly we have created. Though all the formulas are clearly represented here for you to easily recognize when I go with the pictorial representation. Shall we start? It's going to be easy. I animated it, step by step it is going to come so that you can understand it without any problem. Now, the first step, what we have in hand? We have the previous cell state which is called C0. We have the old state which is called S0. We have the input, the current input X1. Now, what is the first step? We have understood what are all the available things. Now, what is the next step that we need to go with? We need to understand the weights available with us and we have highlighted it. WC, WO, WI, WF, F for forget, I for input, O for output, C for cell state and what is the first step? I am going to compute the input gate through the sigmoid function and when I say sigmoid, you can refer the formula here. I will use the uh, old state plus the input along with the weights and I compute it. Now what is the next step? I need to compute WC which is nothing, I am going to go with CT bar. The CT bar is going to be computed here with the formula that I have given you. You can see that tan h of WC into the previous state, I mean the old state plus the uh, weights into the input. So this is what is happening here. You can see that we have computed first IT. We are now computing CT bar which is nothing but the intermediate cell state and that is done through tan s that is what I have shown you just now. Now we have completed two very important things. Now I am going to the third step where I will have to multiply the results that I have obtained through this IT and CT bar and I have the result ready right now. I am not using it anywhere right now. I just have the result ready with me. Now what is the next step? I need to calculate the forget gate. So FT can be computed through the sigmoid and FT can be computed the weights for uh, uh, WF which is nothing but weights for the forget gate into the uh, previous state I mean the old state plus the weights for the forget gate into xt which is nothing but input so I computed it. So what is the next step? I need to now multiply the results from this plus c0. I have got results for c0 into ft here and ct bar into it here. Now what is the only thing which is not used? You can see that w0 
wo which is not used at all so i need to use it that's the only pending thing that is available in the queue now what do we do i have got the result available from this i am pushing it here into an adder i am pushing this into an adder so i got c1 the cell state is updated now i have got c1 but we have not at all touched this where are we going to use it i am going to use it right now i am going to compute the output ot right i need to compute the ot and it is also done through sigmoid it uses the old state and the input and it computes and you can see that i take the result out i push it on here and you can see that when i do a tan h of it i do the c1 plus tan h of this i get s1 which is nothing but the next state this is all about lstm that's all i have explained it so neatly i believe if you have any queries please go ahead and type it in the comment section before uh, concluding that it is very difficult try it out one or two times in your paper so that you can get the flow now this is the last part i would like to repeat once again i took ot i push it on to it i got the tan h of this and i finally get the s1 that's it so this is what we have been uh, working on all the way uh, technically as mathematical equation as well i hope you understood it that's very easy thank you very much